the um, so some of the rushes when we came back from trips that we did together, much before Bill comes on board and we decided that we're gonna make a film of him. And when we were editing, we kept him far away. First because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to deal with him saying no to anything. It would be like you know, a big mess. And so we couldn't deal with that. And also you don't want your subject to be part of it, you know, you choose him. And he's gonna be scared, you're gonna show him things that don't quite work, you know, they might work at some point, they're there for a reason, but he won't get it, you know. So we kept him far away. The only thing we did was to approve him and Lelia, they approved the photo. So we would shoot the photos. When we interviewed Sebastio, we had seven photos. But then we realized in the editing we needed much more photos because we, we, we decided we, we didn't make any movements to the photos, the photos are there. Genuinely, so so we you know without zooms or phase, there are two phases. <coughs> so we needed a lot more photos than what we had before, and that's that's you know the only thing. Fine. Yeah. 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 Can people hear the question? Sorry, it's just that the the, 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 the curating of the photos. So, actually, the curating of the photos was mainly driven by the stories. It was the whole idea of this film was that it wasn't going to be boring. It wasn't going to be one of those films that you want to cut your veins after ten minutes, you know, of watching it, and it feels it's another, you know, hundred years to go. It had to have a story. It had to be written, you know, something really, really interesting, you know, with a lot of information. So that's that's how the photos were chosen. You know, I mean, the stories were chosen, and they corresponded to certain sets of photos. Of course, Sarah Pelada. If you wait, they're there because they're very uh, dramatic and very visual. And there are other, you know, stories with, you know, a, a reportage with stories that are as dramatic. But those were really, really stunning to be beautiful. That's why they're there. But the other ones, they're really there just to, to make the story progress. And really, it's the story of a witness, of a guy who, who learned a lot about the world. And, and that, that's the story we tell in it. There's nothing to do with photos. Photos are just subject, subjectivity. They are, as a subjective, you know, uh, as a way of seeing what he saw. That's a kind of subject. I mean, it's beautiful. The note is a beautiful, beautiful way of showing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what was amazing to hear him remember the names of the people that he photographed, the photographs. Yeah, that's the amazing where, thing. Yeah. It was. Sebastian speaks about the people. You know, most photographers, they will remember the heavy, the, the belly, you know, illness, the difficulty to, to have the right light and trust remember the people he met. And that's 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 really amazing, that's special. Yeah, but that's what's so powerful about photographs too, is the kind of the nobility and the dignity of people uh, in these extreme circumstances. Uh, and the you know the debate that, that, that arises is around the aestheticizing of, of, of violence and of, of poverty. I mean, it, it didn't arise for me at all. What you know, I felt very, you know, that this was someone who was treating his people and, and his party of both, both you know, and that's crazy. That's part of the the reason why why I, I decided to, to give Sebastio, you know, a speech. This was also because I felt there was criticism that he would exercise misery, and somehow uh, make money out of suffering people. That was very unfair to him and. Uh, I think it's a fair criticism to our society. It describes, you know, media, the communication world, and, and newspapers selling advertising and these kind of things. But for Sebastian, it's very unfair because of the way that he bonds and connects with people. And what's so powerful about it is that he, he actually, when he meets uh, uh, his subjects, the people that he will photograph, he actually establishes, you know, a personal connection with them. And what he's photographing suddenly is um, it's. Um, it's a, a, a relation, you know, it's something really intimate. He's not uh, a trying to illustrate a fact or an information. He's photographing an intimate, intimate relationship and emotions. And I think that's why the photos are so powerful. And also, it's difficult to protect from them. And I think this is also a reason why they're criticized. Because they're hard and somehow they hurt. And, and they show world that not everyone wants to see. And, and you can't really protect 